Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta. Alright. Where are we going next? Music is very epic and exciting. I like that her shadow's a butterfly. That is very cool. Is that a portal? It looks like a portal. I'm gonna have a look at it. Yep, it's a portal. There may be even more evidence of the town, this ancient civilization created in the catacombs below. We're probably gonna round up using this at the end of this level, I would think. Of this chapter, I should say, because there are chapters in this game. Whoa. Dangerous stuff. The falling rocks took out that stone bridge. There's nothing but a sea of lava below. I kind of noticed that. Do I need to return to the portal? I'm gonna go have a look. Platinum's alright. Aha! Alright! Whoa! Wow! Oh, you guys, I love this game! This is so awesome! It's like heaven. Paradiso, Garden of Light. Wow. Oh, there's a disc down here. I'm gonna go get it. It's probably the piece that's missing. I have the other part. Yeah, fantasy impromptu. And now I have the whole disc. But oh, that's weird, like a floating rock and all the vines. I've become a record collector. So I guess that means I'm gonna have a new weapon. Can I fall down here? Oh, I can walk on here. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I walk on water. Can I reach that place? There's probably gonna be an invisible wall or something that's gonna stop me from from moving on forward. Now there you go, an invisible wall. What's over there? Is that a syringe? It looks like it. Red Hotshot. A wondrous demonic medicine that can save a witch from the depths of mortality. Automatically used when vitality is depleted. That probably means there's gonna be a boss. There's a lot of bosses in this game, I love it. Well actually, what they do is... They use basic monsters and introduce them to us the first time around as bosses. 
which is great because their basic monsters are awesome <laughs> to begin with so such a beautiful place angel heaven Can I go back? I probably can. I'm gonna try. Wow. <laughs> Let's go back in. Okay, now I'm gonna have to use this again. Wow, wow, whoa, that was the nick of time. How beautiful is this game, you guys? Lever? Should I pull the lever right now? I'm gonna have a look around first. I don't want to fall down. There doesn't seem to be anything anyways. Now I'm gonna go have a look on the other side. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything else there. I'm gonna wait for the floating island to be higher up, and I'm gonna jump. I don't find she glides a lot. Like, they tell us when we start the game that if you press X two times and hold the X, she glides. That's not what I consider gliding. <laughs> I like how she pulls in a very sexual way. <laughs> What is that? Ah. It's like some sort of... What are those called? Hourglass? Use? Use. What does it do? Okay, so the strange hourglass is able to turn back the sands of time. What once was broken is now whole again. I wonder if that power stays true in other dimensions as well. Dimensions. I don't know. Can I check it again? You're probably gonna say the same thing. Okay. Can I pull the lever again? <laughs> It's so sexual. Oh, okay. I have to return to where I was. So, I guess I'm gonna have to go this way. Go back down. Oh, she can't double jump when she has it, when she holds it, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Not that it matters, though, because I don't think. I don't think she can hurt herself falling down, but perhaps I'm wrong. Is it going down? So what is that gonna do once I go back through the portal? I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I can't. Okay. Hurry! I hope I didn't miss anything in this world. I don't think so. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna use it here, and hopefully the bridge will reform itself.
Wow! Oh, monsters are coming! Naughty! <laughs> Pure Platinum! Yay! Uh oh, it's gonna crumble again. Goodness! That was scary. What is it? I thought it was like a serpent monster or something. Lava. I guess it shows me where it's gonna appear. Ah! Where it's gonna appear next. Did I miss something on this side? No. Okay. I don't wanna miss anything. And I'm down where I'm just Okay, I'm very excited today for some weird reason. <laughs> That's why it's important to have a look around. I don't want to miss anything. What's this sound? Is that a monster? It sounds like a monster. Oh, I'm gonna walk up this wall. Very dangerous. Ah! Whoa, whoa! Where are these rocks coming from? Yeah. gonna be a monster? I don't know. Maybe it will. <laughs> There's a book, but I'm not gonna read it right now because my reading is kind of long and boring. I will read it at the end of one video. The old Colosseum. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna read it here and save here. Because I want to know about the old Colosseum. So I'm gonna tell you guys not to forget to save the animals, kick some monsters' butt, and... I'll see you in the next video. But right now I'm gonna read this, so if you guys are interested... Just stick around. Antonio's notebook. The old Coliseum. In vigorous long.
protracted history, there was once an enormous colosseum built facing the sea. It remains today largely intact. According to record, the colosseum was used not for martial contests or other games, but as an altar for the worship of one of the era's gods, a being known as Fortido. Fortitude. Fortitudo. <laughs> Fortitudo, he's like the angel, ain't the big angel face that has two dragons attached to him. Fortitudo. Even today, as the urban functions of the city move to Isla del Sol, the Colosseum holds a special place in the religious beliefs of those who worship the Laguna. Even though the winds of time have long since destroyed the road leading to the structure, forcing a treacherous passage through the cliffs. The stream of those making a pilgrimage to the Colosseum is endless. It was not that interesting, but whatever. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Uh, it's very cool that we can see, like over there, the fire in the city. And I have a feeling we're getting close to a monster, most probably Fortitudo that we've already battled for like the... this would be the third time if it's him. And let's have a look at the view. Oh, okay. The city's wrapped in flames. It doesn't seem likely the fire will dissipate. Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's go up the steps and battle a monster in a coliseum. And the camera angle is very weird here. Whoa, look at all the smoke. Whoa, beautiful Coliseum. Got a lot of bullets. I'm getting better at this. Oh, spoke too soon. Ah. Darn. No, oh, 60 trees are right. Round over. Round over. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, what should I get? I'm just gonna exchange it. Or should I? I have a lot. What it does. So I'm gonna get one of 50. Mega green lollipop. Magic powers? Yeah, 
I prefer healing, so I'm just gonna go with a green lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, la 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 la. Lollipop, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And we'll exchange the hollows. Alright, you guys, new world. It seems as though it's the hand of a kid that's placing the little Russian marionette 